tell us in the comments. Don't forget to hit the like button and share this video with everyone you know. It was really a dream for me to um, to uh, to actually come up with this uh, project. It just so happened that it's the same dream as Dave and as Kara and as, as Asia. And I brought it up uh, to them one time and they said, Oh my gosh, we're thinking of the same thing. Because there's this particular song in uh, Myung the Musical, which is so beautiful. And it, it, it really is very relevant to our times, uh, our present times. And, um, and I really believe that Everyone should hear about it. Should listen to it. Should should be able to 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 um, to hear the words and the music. And um, and then when I brought it up with uh, Tita Mindy and um, 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 Liesel Batuka, and, and they said yes, go go ahead. And then and then um, I called Dave and Kara, um, Jay Pangilinan, Asia Maliari. Uh, Stephen Hotchkiss, the the team behind the When You Believe uh, video project. Yes, um, and, yes, and they all course. said yes, and we did, and they said, let's come on, let's do it, and um, and that started everything. Yeah, I pretty much grew up in rap. Started when I was six. Um, I did the first run of Mio. Funny story, I was a girl, and I was a little girl in the first run, and then when we did the second run. Um, and we did it in Intramuros, we did it in RCBC. I became a boy now. Tita Bibotos like, okay, you're bigger now. Join the battle. So I was little Berong na. And I even had a death scene. So I was like, okay. And then when we did 2019, Tita Joy asked if I could be Ayang. So it's like full circle. <laughs> so you're, you're, you're rewriting another chapter in Rep's history. Yes. And uh, this, I'm sure this is going to be another uh, breakthrough for the company, for Repertory Philippines, as it embarked on its digital uh, strategy for this year. All in preparation and all going towards the time when the stage lights go up again and you guys are going to be back on stage. Yes. So, you know, I, I, I truly wish you all the luck and the positive energy and the good vibes <laughs> know that you guys are really going to make things work for rep. I'm so Thank proud you. of you. Very Thank proud you. Of you. This is the first time we're ever doing this, okay? So it is really out of the box and it mm -hmm. is something new, but we're, we're pushing ahead with it. And I am, who, who is my workshop director, uh, She's pretty confident that she can pull it off. So we have everything right now. We even have someone that's going to be monitoring the Zoom site every day, all day. And and I am, of course, has all the schedules done. And I'm wow, we're we're just getting a lot of um queries and inquiries. And uh I, I don't know, people are just so excited. Yeah. And from as far away as us. Provinces, they're they're calling in and because they say, "Wow, now we don't even have to fly to Manila." <laughs> <laughs> yes, that's the reason why today's topic. I I was thinking when I was thinking about the topic for today, I felt that it is it is so appropriate to to put the word relevant there because that's how rep has been making theater relevant in the lives of many theater enthusiasts arts and culture, you know, students, the youth with your uh, workshops and your your uh, uh, children's theater performances. Um, and it's that relevance that is so important in every stage of the game. Whether you your interest in theater uh, was ingrained as a child or like me, my interest in theater came rather late. But when I got hooked, you can't stop me. Even on a wheelchair, I would watch a show because uh, somehow I, I, there's a need to connect. There's always a need to watch theater because it just makes you feel so vibrant. There's so many things that you can you can imbibe from being part of being part of the theater community as an audience yes. and now as a communicator. And I and, and truly I, I'm I'm quite um, encouraged to spread the news more. 
because of what I'm hearing tonight with the digital workshop. It's, it's, it's that's the beauty of, of theater also. It's uh, uh, being able to, to touch and inspire. And it's not just limited to um, it being on the stage itself. And um, as artists, um, it continues to be within our hearts then also to, to be able to do that even if the stage lights have been turned off for the rest of the year. Um, and that's what inspired us to actually do more of this, um, to keep performing, to, you know, um, to keep sharing the message that, that we have um, uh, to, 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 to our audience. Uh, may it be live or on the digital space also. And that's just the beauty of uh, this material also, um, how beautiful and gallant is our flag, is that the song in itself is very beautiful that we just wanted to share it. Mm -hmm. And uh, we're happy that we're happy that we were effective in actually doing so. And uh, we were able to bring together, you know, friends from, from generations of repertory Philippines also in this, this project. I am definitely considering running the workshop if this is very if, if if this is really successful we will run it throughout the whole year Ooh, I wow am, I, I am actually amazed that there are a lot of people that are signing up for voice classes yes yeah yes. <laughs> <laughs> it's it's a refreshing take on on an old uh, one of the classics in filipino literature and bring it to, to, to the to today's audiences, to the youth, yeah. you really have to inject a lot of uh, stylizing and customizing yes. and also more re, re, retooling the, the heroes, the heroine, the hero, and even the villains. Like the villains of, of productions today have to be like witty and intelligent and actually quite attractive, right? It's not like the stereotypical ugly villain, but now they're crafty and their interesting characters no? so yes so yeah. I, I really look forward to seeing more of your work luna so that that's that's another breakthrough that original material that uh, rep uh, stage adarna uh, bring it to a whole new audience with with a whole new scenario and production design and original music and um and, and, and hopefully in the future we'll see more of this uh, new creations of theater, Mindy. Yeah. Remember, if you're interested to study voice, acting, and uh, costume design, Repertory Philippines has some very interesting workshops that are going online. Check out their website or their Facebook page, and I'm sure you'll get the latest uh, developments and schedules when you can sign up and join them for their summer workshops. Also, watch out for the digital performances, the live streaming performances of selected material, uh, plays and productions that uh, Repertory Philippines will be presenting online on YouTube and on Facebook. So for Stay tuned for the next episode. Only here on Z81 Radio, Manila.